Alright Protoners, uh, I'm back with another video doing a little bit of an update on NGS and how to get it to run on the Steam Deck using the native Steam OS that comes with it. A number of you have mentioned Proton GE. Finally got around to actually using it and testing it out along with how to do so without touching the terminal as this is the terminal is the black magic that scares a lot of newcomers to Linux as no one's had to deal with command line interface since probably about the 90s. So, what we're going to do is to show the easy way to do it without needing to touch the command prompt for those who want to get GE Linux in and not touch the command line and get it running on their deck. First thing you have to do is go into desktop mode, which I'm currently in. Yes, you have to go into the black magic of the desktop mode for on your Steam Deck. It's not that hard to get on, onto. You just click the Steam button, hit power, and it'll pop up there. So, first, next part is you're going to have to go to this little blue shopping bag, or the Azure shopping bag, and you're going to look for Proton Plus. You could search it for it in the search bar, but you're looking for Proton Plus. This is the key. So, what you're going to do is you're going to load up Proton Plus, install it, then you go into your games and find Proton Plus, run it, go to the Steam Launcher, select Proton. Under Releases, you install or download Proton 755 and 7554 if you want to have a backup version of GE. After they're installed, all you got to do is go to NGS on either desktop mode or in gamer mode for the Steam Deck, or even for a desktop if you're running the Linux OS that actually su does support case sensitivity. You have NGS is case sensitive; you can't get away with it. So make sure that the drive is set up for case sensitivity or dealing being case insensitive. So what you have to do first, unfortunately, is when you are going for NGS, you have to set Proton 7 first. You have to do this. You can't just hop to the GE, it does not work. You have to go to Proton 7. Once that's done, you hit play. It'll start initializing and setting up all the files related for the Proton environment that it's going to be making an interface for for running NGS. So the next part is go through the launcher, start game, and you just have to get through this point. Now if it's the first time run, you could probably get away with one if you're going a little further. If you're not, you can set it to graphical setting three. Anything higher than that, I'm not going to be guaranteeing so far. But four, you might be able to get away with and pushing. Now, because I'm in a dock, it looks like it's windowed mode when actually on the Steam Deck it's full screen. But because it's docked, it's cropping out a little. So I can't control that part. So once you get here with Proton 7, you just exit the game. Then you go back in to the Pro the uh, compatibility mode, and you set it to the glorious egg roll edition of Proton, and then you run it again, because this sets the foundation of the Proton 7, which the glorious egg roll edition of Proton uses. You need to put that foundation in, otherwise it doesn't work. The, the game will not even run at all. You have to actually get that 7 in first, and get it initialized. It doesn't work with Eight or pro or experimental. If that was in first, you have to lay the foundation of seven first. Then you can use glorious egg roll. I have to repeat this because I know some people will go like, uh, I, and just ignore the advice. I work in tech support, so yes, I know. I know that happens. Alright, so once you're here and you've gotten your glorious egg roll edition of Proton running, you can hop it right into the game. 
and it'll actually run rather well. NGS will run fine on setting 3. If you're just going to be playing base, like base game, you could probably go all the way up to like 5 or 6. Because even in potato mode with the regular Proton, you could run on, I think, up to like graphical setting 3 fine in base. It's just NGS is so demanding that it needs GE in order to actually run at a reasonable level. So yeah, this is a lot less stuttering, faster, easier loading. So yeah, this is something that highlights that if you want NGS to run on the Steam Deck using regular, the original operating system that came with it, you have to use the GE version of Proton. It works like a dream. It's fast. It There's no stuttering. It's remarkably well done. It fixes the performance hole that is in the regular Proton. There's no issues. The only problem is that you have to get 7 initialized at the start. That's the only problem. So if you want to get NGS running on good speed, you have to follow this all of those steps. Other than that, it's... I'm hoping to test and see if I can get this all the way running up to setting 4 instead of 3, but I'm going to be needing some time to test it and figure out if there's limits. But other than that, I, it's... it runs beautifully. So, if people want good running games on that have problems with regular Proton, try the GE versions. You might not be able to get the fun, new, fancy stuff that comes in the non-GE versions that Valve releases, but if performance is the king of the game, so you have to sometimes go with some of the older stuff that the community updates. But this is just a quick little update on how to get good performance of NGS or other Windows games on the Steam Deck without needing to touch the terminal using GE Linux. I hope people enjoy the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Have a good evening, ladies and gentlemen.